This is a hyper-realistic psychological horror game where you take on the role of a real estate agent with a client looking to sell you a property. Instead of a straightforward and quick interaction with the client, you find yourself thrust into a deeply unsettling and frightening situation. You guys might remember that we took a look at this last year and I still honestly remember just how bad the scare was when we eventually found that house in the woods. We can't see anything inside, right? I can always tell the sign of a, a, a terrifying horror game. One, I can't speak, just like you can hear there. And two, my mouth and throat dry up really, really... Oh my God! <gasps> Where are we supposed to go? Oh my God! Now, I have been told that with the full release, there have been a few changes that might not look the same as the last time we were here. Welcome back, everyone, to Left Behind. You can use your microphone in the game. This mechanic can be employed while reading subtitles to stimulate the experience that you are in that scene or the one experienced in these scenarios. Ooh, this is new. So simply hold down the alt key while speaking and then release it when finished talking. This feature can also be used to interact with entities. But keep in mind that this is an optional mechanic and cannot impact the actual story and flow of the game. That wasn't a thing last time. <laughs> okay. January 15, 2006, you received a call from a potential property seller. The mentioned property is quite affordable, so as a real estate agent, you seized the opportunity and proceeded to the specified location for a property inspection. Location, somewhere in a woodland rural area. Client's name, Mr. William. February 26, 2006, 5.18 p.m. This must be the place I was looking for. The client did not provide me with the precise location of the building. He mentioned that this is a truly special building. I'm curious about what he means by special. Usually when anything has advertisements like that, it's usually like a, a buzzword that's used <laughs> to distract you from either something horrific or something you're not supposed to know or see. Yeah, you can tell we're nervous. I would be too. Completely in the middle of the woods like this. Oh, I forgot just how good this looked though. The thing about this too, is that if you're trying to make a living as a real estate agent, you're kind of at the mercy of the client because a lot of people like having jobs and things, you got to work around them being around in case there's any questions or to just be let into the property and stuff. So, I can imagine people actually do have to do this type of thing, where they wait or go to these really remote areas at these horrible times where it's getting dark and stuff. And then, you've just got to do it while the client's there as quick as possible, because he said that this house is somewhere around here. I don't actually remember where it is. But yeah, my point being is that people would actually have to go through this. As bad as this looks and, like, just getting that kind of vibe where things are going to get bad. There are people that actually have to go through this. Which must be so scary as well. Certain parts of the states and other parts of the world as well. Don't know if I could handle that. Going deep into the woods. I mean, people are going to make a living. I understand that, but... Got to make sure you put on the right pants. I really hope I don't come across any bears or any wild animals. See, that's another thing as well. If you're not really familiar with the areas, you don't know what you're coming across or who. And again, as beautiful as this looks, with like the water reflections and the sun coming in through the trees like that, what kind of area are we dealing with? Is there people that could be trouble? I don't like new people in the area. Is there wild animals that we have to worry about? My brain's doing that thing as well where I'm seeing something moving out the corner of my eye and I'm instantly fixating on it. Oh, look at that. I'm curious about why the seller is deciding to sell this property. Well, there could be a million and one reasons. 
they might be making an absolute fortune on flipping this thing. Which is usually the reason, right? Either that or they just don't have the finances to be able to repair it and make more money off of it. The timing's right and it's worth selling, then why not? Although, I have, or I do remember driving past a few properties where I've looked at them and I don't know what they are, what they were used for, but they look incredible. Like these old rundown buildings. And I just think how cool it would be if you made it into a house or just did it back how it used to look like. But again, it's just a matter of if you can do that. I think I'm going the right way. Again, things have changed since we were last here, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm supposed to be looking for something else. This is an excellent location for a property to be developed. It's cozy and relaxing. I suppose if you're used to the outdoors and stuff, or if you're, if you're used to this kind of environment. No, I shouldn't say that. No, the wilderness can definitely be relaxing. So many times where I've gone to just places away from city areas and stuff, and then you just take a big, like, breath in. I know this might sound stupid, but it really is different. Like, when you just... You take a big breath in. I don't know what it is. It might be the placebo effect of being away from the tall buildings and so many people, but it just feels fresher. Hold on a second. Is that campsite? Seems like someone else is here. Let's go check it out. Oh, wait. It appears as though it's been left here for quite some time. No evidence of wild animals, though, right? I spend some time here while I'm searching for the property. Can't remember. I know we got the fire going. Let's have a look in here. Nothing really that's been left behind. Yeah, there's no evidence that wild animals have been clawing away at the tents and stuff. Can't get the fire going, right? No? I do remember that we spent some... Ouch, my head hurts for some reason. I should take a short nap in the tent before continuing. There we go. I remember I went up there and had a look. You know what? Just before we do that, I'm going to have a look just in case anything's changed. Start a fire and sleep. Give me one second. I just want to take this view in. I can hold off with a little bit of headache. Yeah, imagine coming across a place like this too. Taking pictures of this stuff. <laughs> trying to sell the house. Look at what you've got in your garden or right next to your new home. All right, let's go and rest our head. All right, let's get the fire going. There we go. Just took my eyebrows off. And we'll have a little rest. Oh, God. I overslept. What time is it? Oh boy. Oh, I remember this now. Oh, I love this. Fuck, I should go back to my car. It's so freaking dark. I agree. Yeah, I love when flashlights do this in games. Like, the, the kind of free movement stuff. Every single time I have this, though, and I know I've said it a few times. What a foolish mistake to sleep in a stranger's tent. Yep, I agree. But every time we have these kind of flashlights, I feel like when you glance to the left, like next to a tree, you're just going to see a face or fingers around the side of the tree. It will happen one day. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me test this. Hello? Hello? Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's got like a delay on it. Is that us? Oh, I just heard a breath. Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Hello? Hello? It's a bit creepy being here all alone. It's a bit creepy being here all alone. Okay, I see why they've added that now, but that's really gonna trip me up. We're just going to read it as we are. The kind of delayed effect is <laughs> it's messing with my mind. But I wonder if that does trigger something. That 100% wasn't in the game last time. I'll resume my search for the property tomorrow, I suppose. Okay, so we do have to get back to the car. I love that. Ooh. 
Okay, I think I missed the turn in. Yeah, there it is. At the fire back there. Hello? Hello? I just heard a snarl. It was really faint, but I definitely heard a snarl. And I keep hearing like a quivering. I think that might be coming from us though. Like a somebody taking short, sharp breaths in. Is anybody there? Is anybody there? I don't know what I'd do if I heard that. Like, just being in the woods at daytime and hearing that is bad enough, but at night time? And that's like one of the most common things, right, that people report hearing when they- oh, oh. I don't remember that happening last time. I would have been braced if I did. Fuck you. Fuck you. Just wanted to let it know. I am so stressed right now. I feel like I am going to see something in the tree line, like, running through. H, locate your car. Oh, that's cool. Can we... We can't press it again. Okay. I like that. That's smart. Using your brain. Press the button. Send off the alarm. Wait, where am I? I'm certain this is the way back, but... How did this building appear? Building? Oh, what? I totally missed that. Oh, what is this? This is not how it looked last time. It was like... More like a cabin. All the windows are boarded up. No, can I do that? Oh, I can't turn it on again. Hello? Hello? You already know, when I say that, something's gonna go... Hello? <laughs> Back to me, I'm gonna lose it. What if this is the property that the seller's telling me about? This is a hell of a property too, look at it. Oh, what's that there? Staff? Oh no, this is... Oh, there it is. Psychiatric hospital. Oh, this is so much worse. Are we supposed to be getting back to the car? Oh, there we go. We got, like, a chained up door. Of course, it's locked. Right, I have the crowbar in the car. I should go and get it. I've just seen that wheelchair there. So there's going to be, like, instruments and stuff left behind. I can hear whispering. Okay, there you go. Let's go this way. I was going to go around and across the bridge, but... Let's go off trail. That's never a good idea, but I can see where we're aiming towards. I think we're holding the flashlight higher up as well. You know, like police do when they when they go through a door in a movie or something. That's why it's higher up in my hand. Where is my car? Oh, I can definitely hear breathing. It's not from us either. It's something off in the distance. Can barely see anything. Shit flashlight. Oh god, where's my car? I swear I parked it here. I should just go back to the building. We can't get in though, we need a crowbar. Listen to the sounds that we're hearing too. I would 
do everything. I would probably try and get in there just to get away from any wild animals or... No, climbing a tree is stupid because if there are bears, you're, <laughs> you're going to get got. Inside the door, find a room, barricade yourself in until first light, and then get out. Right? That sounds like a plan. Let's go this way. We didn't go this way last time. Oh, I'm going to do it. Hello? Hello? If there's anything here, do something. Please don't if do something. If there's anything here, do something. Oh, please don't. <laughs> please don't do something. <laughs> no, you guys would kill me if I didn't say something like that. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I got it out of the way. My heart is still thumping from that stupid animal coming running towards us. Alright, let's just go inside. There is a staff area here, but it's all like blocked off with that log, so I don't think I can go in that way. There's no windows that are open, there's no like basements or anything. Yeah, definitely can't go in there. Oh, look at that. The chain's gone. <laughs> what a happy little accident that is. Oh, we're actually going in. Oh, it's so silent. This place looks so old and creepy. I wonder how I walked past this huge building earlier. You didn't. Something it decided to show it to us. Hold and move left mouse button to open doors. F to toggle the flashlight. Why would I ever want to toggle the flashlight? It's staying on. I need more lumen. Oh, I've got to do it. Apparently the game has it. The thing we always do. Oh. <gasps> This is going to be it. This is going to be it. This is when it happens. Hello? Hello? Oh, God, it does as well. <laughs> I was so set on something happening then. Let's check this one. Okay. We're in. The slow movement is killing me right now. Can we pick this up? No. I mean, I could definitely use that. Medicines. There are places like this, though. I've seen people, like, exploring these type of places. It's horrible. Can I pick this up? I feel like that's something I might need. What is that sound? It sounds like a million rats dying. All right. Open. No. Okay, this way. Some of this stuff looks hardly used either. Anatomy pictures on the wall. I heard scurrying up there. There's gonna be something crawling on all fours. All right, director's office. Let me in, please. Okay, can't open there. I'm gonna check this end of bottom floor then we'll start heading up we can run but it's not really a run it's like <laughs> I'm stuck in slow motion yeah, I'm still hearing all that shit from up there nothing slam your face against that window no okay can't turn the lights on we'll get a nice cool refreshing drink <laughs> could you imagine 100% full of piss in that. Oh my fu- Oh! I knew something like that was going to happen as well. I was so braced for that. Do something. Do something. Alright, let's try the other stairs then. Part of me is braced, ready for something to happen. <laughs> and you already know something is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Is anyone here? Mr. Williams? 
Mr. Williams. I'm not joking you guys when I said that then. Something actually made a sound. Like it started hiding when it heard me coming this way. The people that have to clear these places out too, kudos to them. Because that job sucks. Of course, there's no one here. What am I thinking? Don't do that. There could be someone here. Perform procedures. Doors locked. Good. A couple more here. Green one and the white one. Nothing happening with that. Yeah, the people that have to clean these places out. Like, get them ready for... Like, sale and stuff like that. Imagine some of the things that they find, that they hear. I mean, I'm not so necessarily talking supernatural, just... What they would come across. What am I supposed to be looking for here? I bet it's that key downstairs. I'm gonna go back there and see if I can pick it up. Is that... Part of a toilet? I think there's piss in it as well. Is there anything here? Is there anything here? You guys can hear that, right? It sounds like a cat fight in the distance or scratching. Just a high-pitched shriek. Yeah, definitely couldn't go in there. I guess it's got to be back into here and get that key. I don't think there was any other way. Oh, don't be something there. If there was, a, like, a, a nurse stood behind that then. This is what I saw before. There we go. I hope this key works. Me too. I mean, even staying in something like this where I said before, just barricading yourself in a room until daylight, that's probably not a good idea, seeing as though anything can get through that window, including a wild animal. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Come to inspect the property. <laughs> Come to inspect the property. <laughs> Just double checking that none of these were open. Yeah, I can't open them. I know you guys can't hear it, but I was furiously clicking on them, <laughs> trying to open them up. So... Okay. Read the notes. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this like electrocution therapy or something? Like what they used to do in the old times? Okay, let's see. Make candles glow in shadows near. Lights all gone, darkness clear. In the corners embrace, secrets unfold. Speak the words, let the tale be told. Tu qui... Oblitus S Nunc Liber Est? I'm gonna say it in game. If I'm butchering those words at the bottom, I'm sorry, okay? But <laughs> we have to give it a try. Make candles glow in shadows near. Lights all gone, darkness clear. In the corners embrace, secrets unfold. Speak the words, let the tale be told. Make candles glow in shadows near. Lights all gone, darkness clear. In the corners embrace, secrets unfold. Speak the words, let the tale be told. And this is where I'm going to struggle. <laughs> tu qui oblitus est nunc liber est. 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 Okay. I really don't know what I just said. Or what I just summoned. Oh, oh I thought that was going to say sit in the chair then. Yeah, so we've read that. Have I got to light this? Oh, there's a lighter downstairs. This is where we're going to get caught out. 
Mr. Williams, you here? Mr. Williams, you here? You better not be hiding, you creepy shit. You better not be hiding, you creepy shit. Straight punch him in his throat if he is. Do you imagine, like, finding a building like this? As if this isn't creepy enough, and then you find something like that next to a bathtub? Legit looks like you're trying to summon a demon. First of all, you don't read it. <laughs> That's rule number one. Second of all, you don't light the candle next to it, because you're inviting something in. This thing, there we go. There we go. So we found them right at the beginning. What else was in? I'd like to better have some fluid still left. I don't remember seeing any fluid anywhere. None on here. What would be terrifying is if this thing turned on. The fact that I can still hear those little shrieks in the distance as well. Does this work? Take me away. See that right there. If I just saw something like crouch down under that staircase. Alright, let's go back up top. We'll light that candle. <laughs> and just hope for the best. <laughs> That's all we can really do. I keep feeling like I'm hearing something like walking over broken tiles. I'm gonna try the other doors again real quick. Yeah, we'll like that in a second. These doors definitely didn't open. Punishment cell. Like solitary confinement or something. And this one definitely didn't open. No, nothing. I'm kind of glad of that. I wanted them to open earlier, but now I don't. The longer this is going on, the more tense it's getting. I definitely didn't see any lighter fluid either, so I hope I don't need any. Oh, there we go. Then, so what now? Read? Do I have to read the notes while I have this lit? Oh, this is so bad. Look at that. There's a bone saw over there as well. You can use your microphone... Okay, right, let's do this again then. Make candles glow in shadows near. Lights all gone, darkness clear. In the corners embrace, secrets unfold. Speak the words, let the tale be told. Tu qui oblitus es nunc liber est. Tu qui oblitus es nunc liber est. Tu qui oblitus. Make candles glow in shadows near. Lights all gone, darkness clear. In the corners embrace, Secrets unfold. Speak the words. Let the tale be told. Tu qui oblitus es nunc liber est. You'll hear when I let go of it. Tu qui oblitus es nunc liber est. Tu qui oblitus. Yeah, there you go. Things just... Things just start flashing. Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams? Oh, we've 100% summoned something. We've just brought it in to our dimension, and now it's going to wreak havoc on the living. <laughs> With me starting first. Hello? Who did this? Hello? This is not a funny joke. No, it's not. It's cruel is what it is. <laughs> Let me out, please. Should we try the director's office? Oh, this thing's all bolted together. Maybe we use... Oh, we didn't have a crowbar. We didn't get that from the car. Here we go. No? Hello? Hello? You guys all heard that right. A door opened when I spoke. 
What haven't we done? Oh, I've just realized. Have I got to turn my flashlight off? Nope, not doing that. Nope. I thought that was a light coming from outside. I guess we tried turning it off in the room upstairs. It's kind of the only thing that I haven't tried yet. I've definitely tried all the doors. <laughs> Hello? Who's there? Hello? Who's there? Was the director's office. Yeah, I can't do anything. Someone or something is clearly messing with us now. I do not like it. We 100% invited something in by saying that shit. Nothing crawling on the ceiling. Nothing on the floor hiding or peeking. Oh. Oh. I gotta turn my flashlight off, right? That's what it's telling me to do. I'm not reading anything. Is anyone there? Is anyone there? I half expected something to slowly get out of the bath. I've tried these doors like three or four times already, but we may as well do it again. There's no other way out, so, I mean, I've just got to constantly try something until it works. No. Not supposed to be pressing any of these. What is all that? Oh my fuck! Oh! Wait, what? Wait, did I miss that? No, 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 no. That's gonna grab me when I go past it. What the hell are you doing out here, Fred? What the hell are you doing out here, Fred? <laughs> Worth a try. Anybody gets that reference up in the comments? Oh yeah, no, they definitely weren't there. <sighs> Mr. Williams is your first name, Fred. Mr. Williams is your first oh name. Oh my Fred. fucking god, what is that? I see you peeking. I'm not breaking this stair. I see you. You undead. Oh, look at that, like the, the, the rotten clothing and stuff. Face your face, face your face. Oh, wait. I think we're on the other, wait, what? That's so weird. Oh, the door's open. What are we supposed to be finding? Oh, the bolt cutters. Yes, give me those. The minute I pick these up, we're going to see something in that doorway. Human psychology. Whatever that thing is, it's just waiting. Whoa, what was that? 
Oh, there's a note. I don't want to put myself through this, but I feel like I don't have any other choice. It seems like the right thing to do, at least for me. I hope I'm making the right decision. Oh dear Lord, please help me. Alright, let's go. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Open the door! Ward number six. Enter room. Oh, look at the stained sheets like that. All the different stuff they would have used. Is that teeth? No, I think they're just actual beads or something. There's a machete there, a piss pan underneath. That's like an old school drill, right? Like a... Something that didn't need powered or anything. Who are these people? I don't think I can open any of this, no. Oh, there's a key. <sighs> okay, all of the audio just drained out of the room. There's something behind me, isn't there? There's something behind me, isn't there? I was so sure something was going to happen then. What's that key for? The opposite room? The door's missing. What? Oh shit! Go, 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 go! Where do I go? He's making sounds like he's licking his lips. Oh, what the hell just happened? Oh, I don't have a flashlight. Pick up the candle. Okay, we're in the toilets. Where are we right now? I don't recognize this hallway. And what was that thing? All right, we're just going to keep going. I'm really bracing, waiting for anything to happen now. Damn near just blew my voice out with that scream too. Oh, the mannequins are there. I'm guessing you're going to be pointing the way. There's going to be one of you that is going to move. Or there's going to be a face on top of the mannequins that isn't an actual mannequin. Don't look at them. That. What does it say? Psychology of art. Oh, I can't get out of this. Come on. Look at all this shit. We're 100% going to be there next. Oh, experiment. Stop the knocks. Yep. Look at that. A door straight to surgery. Can we get round? 
I'd rather not go that way. Let's try this. No. Ignore the mannequins. Okay. We got a note here. I want to finish this. I've lost everything. I don't have anyone or anything left. Everyone and everything is gone. It's all up to me now, so perhaps this is the end. Maybe... Maybe it's truly over. What if this is the property that the seller told me about? Whoa, 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 that's us! That's what we said! Or is it another real estate agent? Hello? Hello? I'm inside! Help! I'm inside! Help! Don't come in! Don't come in! <laughs> He's trying to give him a friendly warning. I can't shout too loud either because <laughs> I think it might really blow the volume out. This way? Pay attention to where you- Hello? I'm here? Hello? I'm here? Hey, can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me? Just kind of making my own things up now. Oh, you know what? It's going to be that thing, isn't it? It's playing with my mind. That's what these things do. <laughs> yep, I knew it! No! No! Oh. There's no escape. I can't go anywhere. There's no other doors. I guess go back into the room and then just block the door. <laughs> Let's try it. Open the door. Open the door! Oh, that's a projector. What? Is that us? Oh, we're the creature. So that's us, and that's what we saw when the creature came out of that exact room. Yeah, because we ran up the stairs, don't run away. Wait a minute. Is that me? But how? We're being messed with. This is the exact way that we went to. I don't know if there was any other... Oh, what is this? Where am I? What's really going on here? Are we dead? Is this what the end looks like? Just gonna keep walking towards that light. Oh. Something flashing over there. Don't have any kind of light or anything. Is it totally... Oh, it's totally pitch black behind. I really don't think we're making it out of this. Whatever we said in there was our doom. Let's try and sprint. It really doesn't go fast, though. It just gives the impression that it is. There's some weird flashes happening over here. I'm hoping somebody to come rescue us. Oh, wait, is that inside the building? I'm not going over there. Let's keep going towards the light. <laughs> I've had enough of that nightmare inside of that place. Come on. Just over the top. The 
doctor informed me that I had on sleeping tablets. So it was like one horrific nightmare. I'm not sure what I'll do now. My parents died in a car accident. Lost my job because I couldn't focus on work after my parents passed away. It's not my fault. I just, just can't accept that they're gone. Then my wife left me because I no longer had the money to support my family. I miss them so much. My little daughter, her smile, her hug, everything. God, that's so sad. Poor guy. I wish I could see them again one day. Wish I could be with them again. Life is hard, life is unfair, but it's even harder when you don't have anyone or anything left. Just be grateful for what you have today. I just, I just can't accept the fact that I was left behind. So there it is, the ending to Left Behind. Incredibly sad at the end there, and I really didn't expect that, but I guess it kind of made sense with being in the place where we were and seeing everything that we saw leading up to the explanation at the end. Some absolutely horrifying moments in there, especially when that thing was chasing us around and then just randomly appeared in our face, which was not in the first kind of version of the game as well. I gotta stress that. But yeah, if you guys do want to see more horror on the channel, please drop a like on this video, subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.